All right, here with uh, Mark Miller, the season's ultimate fighter. Mark, uh, you just recently saw uh, the first episode air, and uh, everyone saw you fight your way onto the onto the house. How long how long was it? How long did you have from when you knew you were going to be on the show to when you had to be there in Vegas? Um, I think uh, you know we had about a week's notice. Uh, they called me on like a Friday night and said, "Hey, congratulations! You've been selected to compete in the Ultimate Fighter." Uh, I think uh, I think I found out on Friday and I left on I don't know. It might have even been less than a week. I think I left on like Tuesday or something like that. So it was pretty short notice. That stressful having to, to do that, pack up and get out. I mean, and everything with. Uh, no, nah, it wasn't really too stressful because we really couldn't bring anything. So so it was just those clothes and a. You know, bringing toiletries, and really, we didn't even need anything. I mean, cause they supplied us with all the clothes, all the, uh, thank you, all the, uh, everything we needed, toiletries, everything. So you get there, you get to Vegas, and how soon after that did you, did you have to do your fight? Uh, we get to Vegas, uh, uh, the first day, and then, uh, the next day, um, they did the fight announcements, um, and that's when I found out I was fighting my friend Kevin, which totally sucked, uh pretty gay. Um, so they do the fight announcement and say, okay, tomorrow weigh-ins at, um, are at 1 o'clock and fights start the next day at 1 o'clock. So, you know, you get there, you got to, you know, the fight announcements, day to make weight, and then uh, you go straight from uh, weigh-ins day after to the fight. I remember when you guys went to, I wasn't there, but I remember uh, hearing about when you guys, uh, you and Kevin and a couple other people went and tried out last October uh, when they were in the area, in Chicago area, out in Rosemont. Uh, what did you guys talk about then, and what did you guys talk about when you both knew you were going to Vegas, and when you when you got there too, and so did you guys you know talk you know about any about the event that you would have to fight? I mean, were there any kind of conversations between you all about how how that might go down? Um, yeah, well, uh, Kevin had called me and just asked me to go to the trials. So I didn't even really uh, know that they were happening or or thought about <laughs> thought about uh, doing it really because you know. My idea of living with 16 guys in one house, unless we're all like naked, it, it didn't sound too appealing. But uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, uh, we got there and, and we were both uh, kind of ready to leave when we first got there. We saw like the huge turnout of people, and uh, you know, we we're like kind of like, yo, dude, let's get out of here. Um, but we ended up sticking it out, and then. Uh, you know, found out uh, that we both got called back for the second set of interviews, and while we were there, you know, we hung out the whole time, I mean, um, and then um, found out that we both got uh, called to participate in the show, and we are like, we talked about it, like, man, we're like, you know, really don't want to fight you, but I really, really don't want to fight you if it's the fight to get in the house. Like, if you got to fight, you know, for... For money, for a big contract, you know, it's business, but it's like, it was totally, it would totally suck if we had to fight each other to get in the house, and lo and behold, that's what happened. Do you think it was done on purpose? Yeah, I, I do think it was done on purpose. I think, uh, you know, they knew that we were training partners, um, you know, um, yeah, I think they were doing it to make uh, for good TV, and uh, I guess, I guess see if, you know, we were willing to fight each other, you know, for uh, a shot to be in the house. But, uh, yeah, it, it was definitely a strange experience to uh, fight your friend. During the, after they announced, like, the matchups, did you guys talk then uh, when you knew you were going to fight each other? Yeah, well, they they, uh, they announced the first matchup, and then uh, I just knew they were going to call me and Kevin next. I just knew it. And then, yeah, it happened, and, uh, you know, we walked out. We did a little, you know, face-off, and... Uh, we're kind of laughing about it, and I, we're like, you know, figures. And Dana White's like, "What are you guys cousins?" And obviously, I'm a lot better looking, so we're no blood at all. Um, I was like, "Nah," I was like, "We're blood brothers." I said, uh, "You know, we're training partners." And uh, I think uh, Dan Henderson. Said, I told like Dan Henderson. I said, "I said, I said, yeah, we." Uh, we came here together, and he said, like, uh, well, you guys ain't leaving together. I was like, well, that's the truth. But, yeah, I talked to Kevin um, after, and I said, after uh, they announced the fights, I said, you know, dude, you know, we have no control over it. I said, uh, you know, win or lose, we're, we're friends after. I'll be happy for you to see you go on. I'm going to be happy, you know, obviously if I win, but uh, I didn't want anything to come between us. Um, 
you know, come between our friendship just because of, uh, I don't know, I guess business. Had you ever been in that position before? In, in other fights you'd had, you ever fight someone you were training partners with or buddies with? Um, not for money, no. I've had to fight some friends, you know, when I was a little kid and stuff like that, coming up. You always know, get into scraps with your friends, but um, no, never in a, a competition. I've never had to fight a friend or anybody I know, so makes it a, a little easier when you don't know the person across from you. But um, yeah, it was definitely strange. Did it, were you able to, do you feel you were able to, to kind of go 100% in the fight, or did it take you a while to be able to do that, considering he was your friend? Oh, yeah, it definitely took me a while to get into it. I mean, the first, you know, I, I kind of had it in my mindset the whole time, like, you know, we'll go in there, have a little sparring match, I'll we'll try and squeak out a decision, I don't want to, you know, try and kill each other. And uh, the first round was kind of like that little feeling out, and then, uh, and then the second round, he ended up dropping me with a couple punches, and I was like... All right, shit. I'm like, it's gonna be like that. I'm like, all right, I guess it's on. So then, after that, uh, after that, I kind of uh, let let uh, let go a little more, let loose, um, and uh, was able to win. Feel like a, after that point, did it feel like a normal fight? And, and when you got yourself in that moment and ready to to kind of go and finish a fight, or in that moment yeah. was it still hard? Yeah. Yeah, it, it when you know when you get into like uh, like if someone hits me, I want to hit him back. So it. it uh, got into like that revenge mode where it's like, okay, dude, now we really got to go at it. So, uh, yeah, it was like, after that, kind of gathered myself after I got shaken up a little bit, and then uh, after that, I was like, okay, now we're going to scratch. So. And talking about the knockdown itself, I was talking with uh, one of your coaches, Dino Costeas, the other day, and he said he's only seen you uh, ever in practice or anything uh, get dropped like once, like before that. We know it's hard to put you down. I mean, how hard was it to recover from those shots that, that you got dropped for? They look, they look, they look pretty rough. They look like you might have, you know, he was he was going to be near near finishing at that point. But you're able to respond and, and actually finish yourself. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, everything was was clear when he hit me. Like I remember everything. It's not like I was dazed or, or took long to to recover. So um, yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, it just maybe caught me off guard, caught me in the right spot. But uh, I was, you know, pretty clear-minded the whole time I was just uh, thinking to myself I actually thought in the fight when it happened that I slipped because I didn't feel rocked or anything um, so I just was thinking to myself okay you know keep your composure and work to, to get back up on your feet and uh, that's what it is. Cool. Now looking towards uh, uh, this next coming week's episode if you could go back and remember being there what was what was your mindset then you made your way made your way into the house you'd earned your way into the house what were you thinking? What were you? Uh, what were you looking to do next? And what was going through your mind at that point as we, as we go into this next episode? Um, after I, uh, I, I, I won the fight, I seriously considered um, giving Kevin my spot because I really felt like really bad about winning, even though I know he was trying to beat me. I was just like, man, I was like, you know, I was like, he's a lot younger than me. I don't know, I was like, I was like, maybe he should just take this spot, but, uh, you know, I, I stuck with it, and, uh, you know, once I got in the house, I was like, okay, you know, let's just try and make the best of this, I know it's going to be rough, uh, you know, being stuck here with, with all these guys, and, uh, you know, not knowing any of them, and not knowing what to expect from their type of personalities, but, you know, as it turns out, everyone was real cool, and I made some good friends um, that I still keep in touch with, you know, texting and Facebook, stuff like that, but, uh. So, yeah, I mean, that was it. It was just more of a, okay, this is real now. This is happening. Like, I'm going to be on a reality show. Kind of kind of set in. But it didn't fully set in until you actually see it on TV. It's like you're kind of just going through it, going through the days, just trying to, you know, pass one day at a time until you can.